Back inside PNC Arena, 66th all-time meeting between these two teams. Today's starting goaltenders brought to you by Golden Corral. Help yourself to happiness. Cam Ward, 26 saves in a 5-2 loss against New Jersey here on Friday night. And Eddie Lack, who relieved Roberto Luongo yesterday in New York, made 12 saves in what also was a 5-2 loss. Gets the start, and he has started every back-to-back -back sequence for John Tortorella and the Vancouver Canucks. The officials today, Brad Watson and Kyle Raymond, are the referees. On the lines, we have Ryan Galloway and Andy McGelman. Uh, John, already a tweak here for Carolina is Ron Hainsey, who played with Falk on Friday against New Jersey, is back with his usual partner, Brett Belmore. So, uh, again, no Andre Sakura and some adjustments on the blue line to fill a big void. They're going to go with Harrison and Falk. In the top ten, and Mike Komisarek will play the offside with Ryan Murphy, and they'll get these two back together. I think trip a pretty good move because of the, the comfort level Hainsey and Belmore have. I, I, I agree. So if you're if you're if you you're missing one guy, why compound it by making others uncomfortable? Right. And, and, and and this is a big four-point game, and a lot of people probably say, "How's it a four-point game?" Kirk Muller rarely sees Vancouver. Vancouver beat the Rangers yesterday, a team the Hurricanes are chasing. That makes it a four-point game when you're playing the same opponent New York did. We are underway. Sit back and enjoy this one. The Canes and the Canucks will play in Vancouver on December 9th. Carolina very soon will be starting that Western Canadian road swing, which oddly enough will end up in Phoenix, Arizona. You figure that out. Henrik Sedin broken up by Pat Dwyer. And Hamhuis taking over for Vancouver. He'll flip it ahead and Cam Ward plays it along for Brett Belmore. Jordan Stahl in the center zone in the skates of Yuri Tulusti. Chris Tanev circling back in his own end. Through the center ice area, Vancouver on the attack. Alex Burrows still looking for his first goal of the season. Yuri Tulusti headmans the puck unattainable for Pat Dwyer and they start again. When the Sedins are on the ice all afternoon, watch the stretch plays. They tried it a couple times there. It's a four-game road swing for Vancouver that started Thanksgiving night in Ottawa with a victory. Stinging loss in New York against the Rangers yesterday. Very emotional game with the two coaches. That coach last year in the old spots, Tortorella in New York, Elaine Vino in Vancouver, and all that emotion. Now, Yannick Hansen walks in for a chance. Cam Ward says no, and Hansen bats it out of midair astray. Back to the point. Alex Edler with a shot blocked on the way through. It's loose as we see Nathan Gerby gets to it for Carolina, and they get it from their own zone. What a pass from Garrison to Hansen and, and Cam Ward with an already big, timely save just as people are settling. David Booth with two goals in his last two out to center ice. Nice. Mike Komisarek clears it in for Carolina, played by Jason Garrison, the former Florida Panther, signed as a free agent a couple of years ago by the Canucks. Now it's played along and stolen here, carried out to center ice by David Booth, along with Dale Weiss and Mike Santarelli. Booth to the outside, his shot, short side held by Cam Ward. Free to the corner once again, Radek Dvorak. Pulling it back for the defense, it's Komisarek paired with the guy who has the puck, Brian Murphy. Carolina now will start from their own zone on the wall. Dvorak with Mel Holtra. Jeff Skinner for now. Skinner double clutches. He goes high over the top of Eddie Lack. But because of the double clutch, the play is offside. Or Jay Harrison with the Hurricanes know a little bit from his time in Florida. Heck of a heads-up pass just on sides. His Hansen at top speed when he receives that puck, so he has the lane on fall. Time to think about what he's going to do. And just an excellent, excellent save from Cam. Garrison scored 16 goals his final season with Florida from the back end. And that earned him a big contract. A penalty, a skirmish in the corner. Here we go. As the Hurricanes get involved and Drayson Bowman is in the middle of it all. This tells you how valuable the two points are in the line now. Harrison's going to go, John. You take it. I will. It's Tom Sestito, the former Plymouth Whaler. Jay Harrison, we get a great look. Both boys go down. Kevin Westgarth is on the ice. During this sequence, Kirk Muller getting his fourth line out today. It's Manny Malhotra, Trayson Bowman, and Kevin Westgarth. After Westgarth served the two-game suspension for his hit on Mark Warvietsky of Ottawa. So some fireworks early, and the way both teams come in, Trip, you had a feel that this was coming. It does, I mean, there are no easy days or nights in the NHL. There's the initial penalty. Left to the screen, that's where the referee made the call. Bieksa gets up, didn't like the hit. 
And he has his second fight in a couple shifts because BX had fought at the end of uh, the game yesterday, Madison Square Garden. Harrison comes in from the blue line. A good little fight, team toughness for Jay. And even though it is without question a penalty to Drayson Bowman, I still don't mind his physical energy. I continue to be impressed with his game. He does, I believe, have a two-point game in his career against Vancouver, but the Hurricanes penalty kill, it, you would think, will be tested early. Should the Canes win this afternoon, all Caniacs win. Get 50% off your entire menu price online order at participating Papa John's the day after a Canes win. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Well, we thought if there would be any fight early, it might be a Westgarth-Edler uh, type matchup because of Edler's hit on that guy on the right, Eric Stahl, over in the World Championships in Scandinavia. But I think it's just a reflection of how important this game is for both teams. And in a year where you get back to playing teams in the other conference twice, and you wonder, well, are rivalries going to be there? Well, they're just fine when points are as valuable as they are, and you can see it not even three minutes in. Well, Jay Harrison is really giving it to Tom Sestito along the near side. And so this is not over. There's all kinds of time for round two, so to speak. Kurt Muller thought, and I agree with him, that uh, in the game that Kevin Westgarth was suspended for his hit against Ottawa, it was his best game as a Hurricane. So this is an important afternoon for him in all areas. Rex Express Care injuries and scratches, top of your screen. Rex Healthcare chosen for excellence. Vancouver to the power play. They are number 26 in that regard, number 19 on the road. Carolina, 19th on the kill, number 12 at home. The extra penalty, the original, Bowman. Henrik Sedin off the pads of Cam Ward. Loose to the corner. Corner, dug out in control swatted out of the zone that time by Justin Falk and they kill some time early I spoke with video coach Chris Huffine uh, this morning Huffine the video coach for the Hurricanes and first thing he said Vancouver has a shooting power play they don't wait to shoot you can see it off of that face off there through the center ice zone and in they cross Daniel Sedin out of the corner holding on to it Recently surpassing 300 goals, Jason Garrison off the glove of Cam Ward. Out of the corner, Hainsey. Held in by Garrison off the skate boot of Kessler. Back it goes. Edler at the point. He'll dust it off. Alex Edler. Daniel Sedin. Edler with a shot. He got underneath it. Cam Ward fights it off, but it caught Ryan Kessler, who's injured and down and out. Oh, boy. Scary moment. One-timer with Kessler. like uh, Kessler is headed towards the Vancouver bench. Of course, the runway is across the way. I just saw, actually, BX involved in that fight go to the dressing room. And let's take a look. You see that he was born in Livonia. He's actually playing center right now. He's spent a good portion of his career on the wing. And both Henrik Sedin and Kessler are in the shooting lane as Hedler, Alex Hedler fires that one-timer. You know, Cam Ward gave him a little shot, a legal shot there as that puck is coming in. No way to feel that that one-timer was coming. The original penalty, Drayson Bowman for boarding. He also gets a penalty for roughing. Jay Harrison for fighting along with Tom Sestito. And as we see, Vancouver has plenty of time left in the power play. The puck is dumped out of play right off the faceoff. That's a mental mistake. That's going to be a key penalty here, and it's going to lead to a one minute and five second five on three. Oh, boy. Just inside the blue line. Puck goes in the netting. Way at the other end. Watch Commissarek. Yeah. It, I mean, it, there's no gray area in that call. And so already extremely important portion in this game. One we'll, we will look back to for sure. No room at the end as we see in that penalty box. Five on three ensues. Garrison. Daniel. Inside it goes. This is Henrik holding onto it. Garrison flashes. Ward the save. They score. Easy chance in the rebound. It's Ryan Kessler. 1-0 Vancouver. Well, Vancouver has won a couple of face-offs on first the five on four, now the five on three. And Kessler, who has just hit, comes back and scores a goal. Let's watch. Kessler's going to win the draw. Stop it right here, guys. Watch Kessler go from the screen to eventually scoring the goal as the puck comes down on the goal line. 
You know, Kessler really does it all there. He wins the faceoff, goes to the net. Heck of a first save by Cam, and it's too bad that the rebound beats him. He's not able to enjoy that save, but five-on-threes are tough. You and I both know that. It's the second five-on-three scored this season for Vancouver, the second yielded by Carolina. Ryan Kessler, his 11th goal this season, 1-0 Canucks. Over the line to the outside, David Booth. He'll push it along, bumped by Hainsey. Nathan Gerby for the Hurricanes, up the gut and out. The power plays are actually going to be one of our game keys here this afternoon because I think uh, the Hurricanes really had a chance on their power play to deliver a knockout punch before the Devils came back Friday. Alex Edler gets it ahead for Yannick Hansen out of the corner. Now the Dane run into. In the slot, Patrick Dwyer back out to center ice. Jason Garrison and Henrik Sedin get the assist on the goal scored by Ryan Kessler. Matt Dwyer throws it all the way across in control and winding it out of the zone that time. Jordan Stahl, but right in the Vancouver bench. So we get a stoppage. Let's check out this afternoon's Storm Tracker. Well, for Eric Stahl, healthy now, back from his knee injury in that collision, that tough knee hit from Alex Edler for Vancouver. A great opportunity for him to show that his game is rolling. Whose power play has more power? So far, Vancouver scores on a five on three and control and battle. What I mean by that is sometimes, you know, you don't want to run, run around too much. Sometimes composure is the right thing to do. Mental decisions play into the battle, too, that led to that five-on-three, the mistake from Commissarek. Just about 50 seconds left in the penalty to Mike Commissarek. Garrison goes across. Right out in front, Kessler looking for that one from Daniel. Daniel along the boards. Henrik down low, holding onto it. On the exchange, Daniel Sedin, now Henrik. Canuck captain for his brother Daniel. Identical twins played along the boards now, tied up by Brett Belmore and gained by Jason Garrison. He'll thread it across. Dan Hamhuse, Ryan Kessler, he'll fork it deep. This way now for Henrik. Henrik had to go all the way back to the point, played by Garrison. Daniel, now Henrik along the boards, bumped by Belmore. Out of the corner, gained again by Daniel, thrown up top. In control, Dan Hamhuse losing it. Two on one, shorthanded Malholtra and Dvorak. Now Holtra taken down, Garrison mops it up, and it's carried by Radek Dvorak, but Vancouver gets it back out to center ice. Now, Hurricanes obviously wanted a penalty. That's a key five on four after the five on three goal. Mike Komaserik with a shot handled by Eddie Lack, loose out in front. Fought for, dug out by Gerby. Nathan Gerby, Justin Falk, one-timer Murphy denied. It stings a man, it's Alex Burrows. Held in by Murphy, his chop chance to the corner. Now Gerby in control. Full strength on the ice. Vancouver getting one. Falk shot. Blocked on the way through. Baseball batted out of the zone with a high stick by Alex Burrows. Carolina with the touch. So play will continue. Now it's moved along the wall. Played along by Chris Higgins. Dug out by Justin Falk and now Ryan Murphy. Eric Stahl out to center over the line from well out Gerby. Eric drops it back. This is Tuomo Rutu. Rutu in control. Mike Thomas, Eric holding, shooting one. Off a of body, off Dale Weiss, who has it, and away they go. A heck of a play from Rutu there. He protects the puck along the wall in his own end and allows uh, the Hurricanes to come up the ice with speed. In the corner, former Hurricane Zach Dolphy in the lineup this afternoon for John Tortorella. He's been a scratch the last seven. Jeremy Welsh is also with this team. He not dressed for today's game. A spring pass intended for Dolby, broken up by Ron Hainsey. Carolina circling back. You're looking at Jeff Skinner. Skinner goes down easily, and a penalty will follow. So Carolina will be going to the power play. 13-16 left to go in period one. Ryan Kessler with a goal, 1-0. Vancouver. We're back in Raleigh. David Booth in the box for tripping. The former Michigan State Spartan, who has actually scored in consecutive games, and Stick gets into the legs of Skinner, so an excellent chance for Carolina referee at the top of the screen. Should the Canes put the biscuit in the basket during the Duke Energy power play this afternoon, Caniacs who say the winning phrase receive a free Bowberry biscuit from participating Bojangles restaurants tomorrow morning. Bojangles, it's bow time. Vancouver's had a decided edge so far in the faceoff circle, and especially on special teams. Up now will kick all the way back in the Carolina zone. Ryan Murphy, Justin Falk on the points. Elias Lindholm, Eric Stahl, Jeff Skinner up front. Carolina number 27. 
both at home and overall with their power play. Vancouver is number one overall, number six on the road. The back of the goal dug out. Brad Richardson, the former Los Angeles King, signed as a free agent this past summer. He'll slide it deep. It is a Vancouver penalty kill that might be lacking in just a little confidence because the Rangers uh, were able to click yesterday for one of Kreider's uh, three goals in the first period with the man advantage. Carolina disorganized as they cross the line. Lindholm was in early. We get a stoppage, a face-off outside the blue line. And Kirk Muller will quickly go to his second unit. I think this is a good move because you get this uh, this group out here. Tomo Ruto already had a good shift. You have the always uh, ready to work Nathan Gerby on the other side. I expect this to be just a, a unit that really tries to outwork Vancouver. Uh, centered by Jordan Stahl. Jordan Stahl, Gerby, Rutu, Hainsey, and Mike Commissarek. Cam Ward now. Ron Hainsey will quarterback from his own zone. Shots, 6-1 Vancouver. They have a power play goal from Ryan Kessler. Now Jordan. Over the line, he'll get it deep. Battle of brother combinations also here in this matinee. Moving up is Commissarek on Chris Higgins. Those two played youth hockey together on Long Island. Now it goes deep. Out of the corner, stolen by Alex Edler. He'll move it out. Higgins has found a home in uh, Vancouver after playing for a time in the New York area where he grew up. Derby crosses the line. A loose puck. Daniels on it. Out for brother Henrik. Now Daniel Sedin will bring it along. Checked by Jordan Stahl in control. You see the time left on the power play. Of course, you never would have seen the Twins killing penalties under Elaine Vigneault and... John Tortorella made it clear he wanted them to kill penalties as soon as he became coach. Nathan Gerby with a shot off a body off Burroughs. It goes deep, loose in back of the goal. Fished out by Dan Hamuse. And again, a smart pass out to center ice. Burroughs from long range, no problem for Cam Ward. And the Canes are down to just five seconds with the initial power play. It's brought out by Justin Falk. Chipped along that time by Elias Lindholm. And getting after it here is Ryan Stanton, the rookie who started his career with Chicago. Harrison shot cut off by Eddie Lack, and no further play. This afternoon's Moe's Hey Hey What Do You Say queso player is Manny Malholtra. He scores a goal. All Caniacs receive a free side of Moe's famous queso. Hot fresh chips also tomorrow at any triangle locale. Well, his one goal as a hurricane was as big of a goal as Carolina's had this season against Philadelphia when the team's confidence was maybe at a low point. And, and that power play, unfortunately, John, just did not generate any uh, positive momentum. You know, this game has uh, been disrupted in the first uh, almost nine minutes by power plays both ways. That power play didn't do anything for the Canes. Thomas Sarek at the point. Dvorak from well out, blocked by Garrison. You see it skip out to the center zone. Mike Thomas Eric will look it over. He played just under 17 minutes in his return to the lineup on Friday night here against New Jersey. A pass broken up by Dale Weiss. Mike Santorelli walks in, and a good block by Ryan Murphy. Mike Santorelli's been a nice find for Vancouver. Now Jeff Skinner, 10-2 and two with the skates. Here he comes. A drop pass for Commissarek. Put off by Eddie Lack. Murphy has it. But he's taken off the puck and injured on the play. I believe that's Dale Weiss. Or possibly Yannick Hansen. It's Yannick Hansen on the line change who came across, and he's holding his shoulder, as we see right here, the right shoulder. He just lost his balance. Oh, boy. He is in an absolute ton of pain. Santorelli at the other end, your right, had a good chance. He also broke his stick on that play. And then uh, Mike Commissarek trailed the play and created a great chance. Watch this area right here. That's a tough break for Hansen. Always nothing that Murphy could do or anything he did wrong, but you can see their legs were entangled together. Maybe that led to him losing his balance, and it's the collision with the boards. And that was a good chance there for Commissaire. Eddie Lack, a big goaltender. The majority of the goals he's given up this year as the Vancouver backup have come low. He's six foot four. His nickname in Sweden and still is. They call him the Stork because of his angular presence. What is the storks? Don't they have something to do with uh, babies, too? 
In some ways, yes. Well, explain. But, but very, well, the stork delivers the baby. Uh, you know that. But no, I, I knew, but I didn't know the specifics. Well, you do now, and after the game, we'll have a further discussion on the birds and the bees. Out of the corner now, Burroughs. Oh, I know about those. I sure you do now on the boards. It's, it's wheeled back. The extra now in control back out to center ice. And it comes all the way back in the cane zone. And thankfully, we have an icing. Well, what a scary injury this was, John, when Manny Malhotra was so relied upon in Vancouver in the neutral zone against Colorado. And I don't know if anybody knew right from the get-go how serious it was going to be. I know one of Manny's agents, he has the Bobby Orr hockey group with Rick Kern and Paul Fratelka, and they've had to go through not only Manny's scary road to recovery, but Mark Stahl, they also represent. The good news is both players are healthy and both players are wearing visors. Yeah, and both players, scary situations. Just about life, never mind this great game. Now it goes deep. Falk now away for Jay Harrison. Harrison out of the corner along the boards. Nathan Gerby digs it free. He'll drop it all the way back in full flight. It's Falk, and they cross the line. Route two holding onto it. His shot absorbed on the way through. In control to the outside now. Eric Stahl tied up by Chris Tanneth along with David Booth. They attempt to get it out. They do. And we see it come all the way back in the Carolina zone. When I was playing might hockey in Detroit, there was a team called the Storks. That's when you said it. I thought about that. Not for long, hopefully. Well, Icing is called Storks here. had a good team. Speaking of which, uh, you're going to talk uh, between periods to the Hurricanes' uh, very fine owner, Mr. Peter Carmanis yes. Jr. And boy, oh boy, the next couple of games, uh, you were able to sit down with him a few days ago, and it's it's fantastic stuff. So make sure you tune in. And congratulations to Pete for going into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame tomorrow. What what a contribution he's made for so many years to the United States. We'll talk more about that later on, but we did sit down with Mr. Carmanis Friday afternoon here, a lengthy interview. You'll hear pieces of it now. David Booth cutting his shot off of Jay Harrison goes out of play. Kane's assistant, Dave Lewis, with Chantel McCabe on the other side of this break. I'm with Dave Lewis. The Canes were down by one. No fun to play on the short-handed side of a five-on-three. But going forward, what will it take to have a sound game against the Canucks? Well, to get everybody into the game, everybody's skating. Use our four lines, our six defense. You know, there was a fight already. Harry had a fight, and we had a penalty kill. Two penalty kills, actually. So that takes away a bit of the flow. So just get going. We've generated a little bit lately, so we got to continue to do that. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, if the Hurricanes come back, it's that five-on-four kill after the five-on-three goal that I thought was ex extremely important. Ten shots in the game so far. Vancouver has seven. This is Brett Belmore deep in his own zone, head manning for Jordan. Through the center ice zone and in, it's Yuri Tolusti. Defended by Jason Garrison. Out of the corner, Jordan Stahl gave it away to Daniel Sedin. Run into by Pat Dwyer. Alex Edler is also there, now a four-man scrum. Jordan joins the fray, and now it's carried out here by Garrison. In the center ice zone, it's off. Henrik Sedin comes all the way back. Icing is called here against Vancouver, and we see John Tortorella the first time this afternoon. It's good to see John, and I, if I know John, and I can guarantee he did this, he was up at about 8 o'clock this morning, goes for a run every time he comes to Raleigh, and he loves to meticulously watch film. Okay. He doesn't like to comment on his team's performance until he gets a chance to look at the film. And I know one thing he said has been they've been chasing games too often, getting behind. And they've been surviving on it, trying to score more goals. He'll be very delighted, I'm sure, right now that they got the first goal of the day. He's been good to us over the years. We wish him all the best. Murphy now with a shot. A stinging one it was. A cane going down. Jeff Skinner. That shot taken by Ryan Murphy, and now Skinner to the bench as they wind it back. It goes by Radek Dvorak, all the way in on Eddie Lack. Well, the good news is Skinner goes back to the forward side of the bench, so it looks like he's okay. Mike Commissarek now swings it across. Elias Lindholm along the boards, tied up by Mike Santarelli. Cam Ward legally in the trapezoid for Mike Commissarek. Indirect pass, Kevin Bieksa keeps it deep, broken up. Carolina again attempting to get it out. Played here and cushioned out of the zone that time by Drayson Bowman. Lindholm goes deep, heads off in a change. Ryan Stanton back to get it. His partner is Kevin Bx of Dale Weiss. Mike Santorelli looking for Brad Richardson, who gets it deep. 
I've noticed uh, one thing. It's been a couple of times Carolina has tried to go up the middle on their own end with hope plays. You just can't do it. I mean, their fault looks. He knows that Bowman has time and space. Hope sometimes leads to no hope as it comes all the way back in. The back of the goal. Harrison holding onto it. Screen wrister tipped. Caught by Eddie Lack. Kevin Westgard, this is what he did. Down one nothing against Ottawa a week ago today. Is he helped to get the four check going after the Hurricanes got an early penalty trouble? And that was a big turning point in what ended up being an outburst in the second period. Again, he and Manny below the goal line. Manny gets to the front of the net. Kevin's going. I mean, that's that's beautiful to see. This is the type of shift that can start to change things. And usually that line does. That's why, led by Mr. Malholtra, that's been such a great add for the Hurricanes. The intangibles they've been getting out of their fourth line. Dan Ham, Ham Hughes tries to clear. Held in the shot taken by Justin Falk goes astray, and now it's picked up here and carried out by Chris Tanneth. Out to center ice. Over the line, David Booth greeted by Nathan Gerby. Vancouver now will peel back. Ham Hughes in control. He'll feed it deep. Around the boards it goes. David Booth giving chase for the Canucks. Top of your screen, Ryan Kessler, who has the goal. Falk tries to clear. It's held in by Dan Hamhues. Appeared to be offside and now carried out by Eric Stahl. Here's Gerby. Nathan Gerby moving in the zone. A spinorama. Wide of Eddie Lack. Loose this way. Now Ron Hainsey. He'll snap it ahead. Top of your screen. Chris Higgins. Brett Belmore down the wall for Carolina. It's loose in back of the goal. Chris Tanev taking over. He'll angle it off the glass. All the way back in the Kane zone. And no icing here. So all of a sudden, good shift from the fourth line with Mel Halter and Westgarth in particular. And the top guys come out and have their best shift of the game. Vancouver attempting to go D to D. Jordan Stahl and the give back. Garrison now goes D to D. Alex Edler chipped along by Daniel Sedin, played by Hainsey. Getting a little help from Jordan and back out. Here they come. Patrick Dwyer working Garrison. Edler. Punished a bit by Yuri Toulouse, a loose puck. It's Henrik in front of his own bench. Hainsey is on him. Vancouver now. Daniel Sedin from Burroughs broken up. Good play at the line by Jordan. Now it's Yuri Toulouse rubbed out of the play by Jason Garrison. Vancouver reorganizes. Excellent work from Jordan. Good reload because he had a pinching defenseman, kept his legs going, and then he's the guy back filling in the role of the blue liner to make the play on Sedin. Ryan Murphy. This way for Mike Komaserik. He gave it away. Ryan Stanton off the boards all the way back. Icing is called here against Vancouver. The Carolina Ale House is the spot for cool bars. The next one is Tuesday night. The games will be in D.C. Facing off against the Washington Capitals. Log on to carolinahurricanes.com and hope to see you there in Cary. Tough side for Elias Lindholm in the faceoff circle. He's never met the Sedins, but actually got to know one of their trainers over in Sweden that uh, has had a big impact on the Twins' career. Buck is wenched along by Dale Weiss. Elias Lindholm on cue coming back. It comes all the way back as we see in the Canucks zone. Kevin Bieksa hard pressed on the play. Good pressure that time up ice by Roddick Dvorak. Now Santarelli. Dale Weiss. Spring pass. Richardson a button hook. Weiss now goes deep. Dale Weiss out of the corner as Vancouver tries to establish a cycle. Now Holtra for Falk. And out they come. Jay Harrison through center ice intended for Kevin Westgarth. Corralled by Eddie Lack. Mike Santarelli into his own bench. We get a break in play. 439 left to go in period one. Vancouver won. Carolina no score on Fox Sports Carolina. You see the proud history of the Carolina Hurricanes hanging from the rafters here at PNC Arena and trip tomorrow. A proud day for the organization. Peter Carmanis Jr. goes into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. Well, it's proud being Doug Wade, a Stanley Cup champion here. Well, Bill Guerin, one of the great guys. Wade and Guerin are also terrific friends. But another thing about Peter Carmanis is that long before the U.S. started their development program that's been such an asset now, a couple World Junior Championships and all these players in the NHL, he pushed for the need to have it in Ann Arbor. And look at the number of players it's produced. Shot taken. Kessler, the rebound, it goes wide. We sat down with Mr. K on Friday. It's a lengthy interview. You'll see some of it inside a hurricane between periods one and two. Zach Dolphy, drop pass for Ryan Kessler. Jason Garrison shot. They score! Garrison and Cam Ward says he was bumped. 
We'll see, but Vancouver, it looks like they have a 2-0 lead. Well, the referees can get together and review this themselves, but of course the play is not reviewable. I have noticed in recent games there's been quite a bit of contact with goaltenders. Let's watch the crease area. Does it prevent Cam from doing his job? It does. Boy, that it's in the crease. Yeah, just That's a, a bad there. call. I mean, it's just too bad, but it's it's subtle. But does it prevent Cam from doing his job? And, and that first angle was the best one. It does. It's in the crease. Watch here as he pushed in. That first angle showed a little bit more than the other two did. Listen, they have to be seeing this stuff, and it has to be reviewed. It's not now. So for you fans that don't know, they cannot review situations like this. In fairness to the officials, this is a difficult call to make. They deserve the right to go over themselves, look at it, think about it, and make the right call. Can Cam do his job? No, he can't because of that push, and it comes within the crease. Like the NFL, let the four, the two referees go off the ice, look at their own work, and if then they deem that they want to review it themselves, they can. If they want to uphold the call, they can too. What is the problem with that? It's costing teams points. It's, there's none, and in some cases, the incidental contact is just a face-off. There's no blood, no penalty. So you just say, yeah. okay, we looked at it, go to the both coaches and tell them what the story is. Have a face-off and continue, and everybody's happy. And I think it's coming. It's not there yet. I know they're looking at this. They're too intelligent, too smart not to see it. And, and, you know, like I was watching a Toronto-Montreal game last night where they called goalie interference where I actually thought that James Van Riemsdyk was aware of where the crease was, and I didn't think it was goalie interference. But either way, let the guys who make the call make the call. Just let them look at a replay. It won't take very long. It won't be a big delay. All right. Let's take another look at it. Cam Ward handling the shot taken by David Booth, Ryan Kessler. Kessler, disagreement with Brett Belmore, and we'll see it one more time. I, I, I say it all the time. The NHL has the best referees in all of sports, but, I mean, there's no question that Cam's job is, is not allowed to happen there in the crease because of that subtle push. I know I played the position. It puts him off balance, and Harris, or Garrison, excuse me, does an excellent job of getting the puck to the net. The referee was actually in a good position to see the contact, which surprises me, quite honestly. I thought he should have been able to detect it, but he wasn't able to. Cam, to his credit, is staying calm and having a conversation, although I'm sure he's very frustrated. That was Kyle Raymond in discussion with Cam Ward. Chris Higgins goes deep. Justin Falk now tied up by Ryan Kessler. Just about 17 minutes gone in period one. Nine shots Vancouver, four shots Carolina, 2-0 Canucks. On a goal scored by Jason Garrison and Ryan Kessler. Zach Dolpe and Ryan Kessler get the assist on the goal scored at 15.48. Chris Tanev play red by Tuomo Rutu. Amhus recovers now Eric over the line. Eric Stahl to the outside. Good stick by Chris Tanev. Rutu leaves it for Nathan Gerby who gave it away to Amhus. And Vancouver will get it back out to center ice. They have to be careful here, but Kessler was offside. The puck carried in by Chris Higgins, and we get a stoppage. Well, now that we've covered the, the goaltender interference situation, how good has Garrison been? Really he good. makes that tape-to-tape -tape pass uh, for the breakaway to, to Hanson earlier in the period, and there, I mean, not even on his off, on a, on a, in a difficult shooting position. He got that to the net very, very quickly, and off the bar and in to score. Another guy out of Minnesota Duluth. You saw in the graphic, undrafted. That's very important. There's plenty of opportunities for players who are undrafted. To not only get signed, but break in and then become NHLers. It's, it's a pretty darn impressive. Uh, and he has been very, very solid. And he has been in a bit of a rut, scoring his yeah. first goal in a long time on the power play a couple of nights ago in Ottawa. They go across. Garrison. Over the line, Richardson. He'll move it by Murphy. Two minutes flat left to go in period one. Carolina has to recover from this. Gonna have to dig down. Now Richardson down low, holding onto it. Brad Richardson centers one off a skate, off Murphy. 
The Exa down the boards for Vancouver. Stolen by Lindholm. He gave it away. The Exa now tries to advance it. And it's brought out of the zone by Jeff Skinner. And he gives it right back to Vancouver. On a change at Santorelli. Santorelli over the line turns. Hit along the boards now. Skinner again along the boards. Can't make it happen. As Vancouver wins a battle. And they get it deep. But the neutral zone continues to be so important. You know, late in periods, late in shifts. Again, you can't make both plays. You have to leave the next line coming on the ice in a good spot, not retreating to their own end. To the point it goes. Belmore in control. His shot blocked by Zach Dolpe. Dolpe knocking it down, taking a hit from Belmore, but he got it deep. 105 left in period one. Vancouver in the midst of a partial change. Hainsey goes D to D. It's Belmore. Flushed out a bit by Henrik Sedin. Now Hainsey deep in his zone. Two Canucks on him. They seal the wall again. Daniel for Burroughs. Broken up by Belmore. Back out. Vancouver gets to a loose puck. 40 seconds left in period one. Hainsey bounces it in on Eddie Lack. Lack has handled the puck pretty well for a Swedish-born goalie here in the first. Chris Tanev. Henrik Sedin cutting. Defended by Harrison. Nathan Gerby's on it. And again, they hustle back. Tanev with a steal right back in the zone. And the reloads for Vancouver in the neutral zone have been really, really good. Carolina changing. Westgarth doesn't see it. The other team has it at the blue line. And now Vancouver will get it deep. Ward in back of the goal will move it out of the corner. Played along the wall now and advanced out to center ice by Malholtra. A long shot off of Westgarth goes astray. And that'll do it. Nine shots for Vancouver, four shots taken by Carolina. And the captain, Eric Stahl, will be Chantel McCabe's guest when we kick off the PNC Bank first intermission. Vancouver 2, Carolina, no score. We get ready for the second period here in Raleigh. Let's take a look at the first period stats brought to you by Buffalo Brothers, the greatest tenders on planet Earth. Scoring chances dominated by Vancouver. Carolina out hit the Canucks by six in that period and they will need more of that. John Forslund. Trip Tracy, Chantel McCabe is at ice level. We're joined as always by our fine crew, PNC Arena here in Raleigh as we kickstart the second period. Carolina down by two on goals by Tom Sestito and Ryan Kessler. Vancouver coming in after losing in New York against the Rangers yesterday. 5-2, Carolina, same count. Scam Ward handles that one from Daniel Sedin. Same count against New Jersey here on Friday in the loss column for the Hurricanes. Out to center ice. On the advance is Jordan Stahl. Moving up, his shot. Cut off by Eddie Lack, and he has the rebound, but they bang it home. Traffic out in front. Now Eddie Lack doesn't like it, but Carolina has cut the lead in half. Well, I don't know if Flack is complaining about contact or if he's saying that he had covered the puck. The referees are going to get together right now. Let's watch this here. Excuse me for the draw right now in the play that Jordan Stahl makes coming up the ice. Powerful. Ron Hainsey jumps in, which is a key part of it, too. And then Raymond comes behind the net. It looks like he had never lost sight of the puck, or I can't tell with his hand. Looks like he's maybe in the act of blowing the whistle, but he never blew it. Here's the puck free. I can't honestly see it then. So Lack could have gotten a whistle. You see the referee coming in at the last second. Jordan Stahl, huge part of that play, and Hainsey jumping in. Now Eric walks in for a chance. Denied by Lack. The rebound. Did they score? It could be in. Lack is in the goal. We'll see. And it looks like Carolina has come out storming. And they've tied it. This period's only 49 seconds old. We're certainly feeling the stall dimension here in the second as it continues to be Carolina's best period by far. Ron Hainsey, a key play from the blue line on the first goal. And now Justin Falk, a defenseman, key play on the second goal. What a job there from Eric gaining that lane on Kessler, a forward back. You can see that a defenseman had been caught up the ice. And the, it seems like Lack's entire body is practically in the net. And there you can see that puck clearly goes in. And this may be reviewed, but it will be a good goal as Nathan Gerby 
scores his sixth of the year. And talk about building on momentum. Our first game key this afternoon is a dominating performance from the captain. That's a key shift there. Well, they needed it, and they needed it now after that first period. Response to the goal by Jordan Stahl right off the hop. This one, Nathan Gerby, could be his first goal in seven games. No doubt it will be. Brad Watson on the horn to the Situation Room, and we'll pick up the call. After a video replay, we have a good goal on the ice. John, there's no question that's a good goal. The first goal to make it 2-1. <laughs> and we have the benefit of replays, of course. I had lost sight of the puck. So I, I, I think the Hurricanes caught a little bit of a break on the first one. But boy, oh boy, when you've had so many good second periods consecutively, it gives you confidence. And <laughs> this thing's not even a minute old. And the Hurricanes have two tallies. 49 seconds for two. 10 seconds separate the two goals, Jordan Stahl and Nathan Gerby. So sit back now and relax and enjoy this second period. Level ground here at PNC Arena. Two unanswered goals under a minute for the Hurricanes. Eric Stahl gets the only assist. He had a seven-game point streak stopped here Friday night, so he picks up again as he gets the assist on the goal by Nathan Gerby, his sixth. The Canucks out in front. Hack and whack time. They score. How about this? Cam Ward attempted to scissor his legs together. And much like Carolina, the Vancouver Canucks storm back and recapture a one-goal lead. Pretty resilient play by Kessler and company. This is going to be Kessler's third point of the afternoon. As Vancouver just is able to really win the battle in the crease area. An area Carolina has been so much better this year. So you have Harrison going for the puck and Gerby cheating down low. Neither player is able to deal with Hansen first and then Kessler. And Cam Ward tries to scissor. This puck certainly goes in the net. So this is a good goal too, but... That's a clip to show an area where the Hurricanes have been significantly better this year, not getting puck focused, good body positioning, and there they lose on two fronts, first to Hanson and then to Kessler with a three-point day already. Those are the battles Kirk Muller talks about on the short end of that, and now they'll have to rally back. Ryan Kessler, Yannick Hanson was injured in period one, went to the room, looked like a shoulder problem, so obviously now he's back as we start this second period. Unbelievable occurrences here at the start of period two. Two quick goals by Carolina in 49 seconds. And then a storm back by Vancouver. Ryan Kessler jamming out in front. He along with Yannick Hansen in back of the goal. Mike Komasarek plays it rough down low. Carolina gets to it. Out they come. You're looking at Ryan Murphy. Murphy through the middle on the outside now. Skinner crosses. The play is whistled dead offside. See, you know, we think about two-on-ones, we think about odd man rushes, John. Sometimes they're from the goal line, and you still have the same jobs. If you're a defenseman, you lead the puck carrier to the goaltender, and you try to seal that if you can, but your job is the open man, the pass. And, and that's where the Hurricanes failed there. Aside from getting on that defensive side of the puck, two Vancouver players, both Hansen and Kessler, battled to get on the right side of the puck for them. Puck is cleared all the way back. Icing is called here against Vancouver. Just about two minutes gone in the second period. Jordan Stahl, Nathan Gerby, then Ryan Kessler with his second goal today, his 12th goal of the season, has made it 3-2 Vancouver. Now, with that goal going to Garrison, or sorry, now going to Sestino, not right. Garrison, did Kessler lose his second assist on that? So maybe he's only got a two-point. Initially, he had an assist. Right. So that's why I said three points. Maybe now that assist has been taken away. We'll get clarification from the president. President Taft, our very fine statistician. Mr. Lee Taft, who's with us all season up here at our beautiful perch at PNC Arena. Now it's carried along by Alex Edler. Defended by Carolina's Justin Falk, Jay Harrison. Paired with him this afternoon. It goes off a glass support, back out. Here's Nathan Gerby starting his engine. He'll pull up, but offside on the play and in the zone was Tuomo Rutu. Bang, bang, bang. Let's take a look at the three goals scored in the second period. Well, if you ever need to see video of where goals are scored in the NHL and how you have to get to the net, take a look at all three of these. 
<laughs> this is why you have to drive the net. Well, what a play by Eric Stahl in the second one. Gerby scores. Kirk Muller keeps the same line on the ice. And that's just A, puck focus on Harrison, and B, Eric Stahl loses the race out of the corner. And Cam Ward just isn't able to squibble it and keep it on the right side of the line. Shot taken from well out goes wide of Eddie Lack, playing today for John Tortorella. Dump in here and hunting it down and in control. Playing it deep now, Canuck captain Henrik Sedin for Daniel. On a cycle, Daniel Sedin up top. Kevin Bieksa off a stick, it goes high, it stays in play. Alex Burrows down low. To the outside, he has some room. Back to the point, Dan Hamhues. His shot fought off by Cam Ward. Kicked out with a purpose. Daniel, Belmore say hello as they jam along the boards. Now Burrows had it, he lost it, and it's carried out by the Hurricanes. Pat Dwyer through the center zone, a steal by Daniel Sedin. Swept along and further deep that time by Drayson Bowman. This is going to be important for Cam Ward to shut the door now. Uh, Kirk Muller comes back with him after a, a tough outing on Friday. And now he's got to just think, hey, not much I can do to get to this point, but it's got, it can't get any worse than three. Justin Peters again backing up today. Anton Hudobin getting closer. Full practice yesterday. As Cam Ward will hang on to that. We'll get a face off in the Carolina zone. And we'll take a look at the second periods in which the Hurricanes have made a good situation for themselves, and we've seen that a lot lately. It's unbelievable. It's been the Canucks' best period, too, I should add. Uh, and I can't exactly figure it out. I look at the long change. Uh, it, the Hurricanes, I think, adding a guy like Sakura and then Hainsey, too. Their blue line can really skate, which sometimes can help in the middle period. But I think it's just uh, they've got confidence in it. And when you have confidence, good things happen. Well, they're becoming reactionary, too, though. They are getting That's behind the, bad the side ball, of it. And, yeah. and they have to react to it, and they've been able to. But a, a good start, a, a key start where you get ahead of the game is so important. Vancouver's gone through that this year. They've given up the first goal to the opponents a great deal. Only two other teams in the league have given up more situations like that. But Vancouver has survived some of that as Eddie Lack hangs on to the chance taken by Justin Falk, and we get a stoppage. Okay, so it is reactionary, and there's no question in my mind. It's just the truth. Since Carolina was one of the finest home teams in hockey the year they won the Stanley Cup, they have been primarily a reactionary team on home ice. They haven't been able to consistently be a club that, that grabs hold of the game. Now, it can't always be that you absolutely empty the tank and assert yourselves in the first 10 minutes every game. But they haven't had enough nights no. over a long period of time where they dictate in this building. They're still looking for that swagger on, uh, on home ice. They're just one game over NHL 500 at home, 6-5-4. and four. Lindholm holding on to it. And the boatload of scheduling now moving forward will be on the road for the Hurricanes as we kick off December today. Murphy at the point, walking the line away from Booth without his stick. Lindholm on and off his stick. And the Canucks now get it out to center ice. And Alex Edler did and steered along here by Mike Komisarek. Eddie Lack from the trapezoid. Furthered by Ryan Murphy, gloved down by Mike Santorelli. In the center zone, Komisarek off of Garrison. And now Vancouver sorts it out again. A lead pass intended for David Booth. Cam Ward ahead of that goal line. Moves it along now for Mike Komisarek. Goes over the stick of Ryan Murphy. Gained here by Zach Dolpe. He'll go deep, out of the corner. Brad Richardson now for Vancouver. He'll spin away from Lindholm, walk it out in front. And off the stick of Toulouse, and now David Booth to the outside. Chris Tanneth, and Ham Hughes with a shot blocked. A good block it was by Mike Komasarek. Back out to the center zone, Dolphy with a steal for Vancouver. He gets it back, his shot caught by Cam Ward. Coors Light. Cold Hard Facts, installment number one this afternoon. You take a look at Canuck captain Henrik Sedin. Active players in terms of games played with one franchise. And there are the Sedin twins. Well, we've seen it with high caliber character players to build around here for many years. And do they ever get themselves in trouble off the ice? Never. Daniel's more of a finisher to hit 300 goals. Henrik, uh, more of a playmaker and a former MVP. I don't have an eye care deal like you, so I can't tell them <laughs> apart if you put them in the same screen. I mean, little tendencies that are a little bit different, but boy, oh boy, 
look like clones to me. You have to be around them a lot. And I have had that chance in the past during the playoffs. That's the only reason. Now, Ward will hang on to the faceoff in a zone. But it is extremely difficult. Well, and they come from actually a small town. And when you look at uh, where they're from, same hometown as Peter Forsberg. Same hometown as Victor Hedman. And I'm just naming a couple of Swedish stars that have come out come out of a, a, a tiny little town in Sweden. Yeah. This isn't Stockholm or Gothenburg size. It has just proven to be a hockey factory, and nobody can quite figure out why this particular small city, almost like a Thunder Bay, has had so much success. Well, the key is, right trip, the scouts will find you. No matter where you are, they will find you if you have the goods. It deflects out of play. Hurricanes uh, found, I mean, Nicholas Ballin, who was an excellent player, practically on the North Pole. I mean, that's where Bowden, Sweden is. I mean, it's an eight- or nine-hour drive from Stockholm to get where Ballin grew up. Eddie Lack was the backup goaltender to Jacob Markstrom when he was found by the scouts. He was never drafted the goalie. The Hurricanes see today, as you see, Henrik Sedin along the bench. They have been extended in terms of their contract, and they will finish their careers as Vancouver Canucks. Along the boards now, pops out as we see Jay Harrison paired on defense with Justin Falk. Eric Stahl, Tuomo Rutu, Nathan Gerby up front for Kirk Muller. 3-2 Vancouver. It has turned into a wild afternoon. Loose out in front. The boards now. Good look from ice level. Down low it goes. Kessler tries to center one. Ham Hughes at the point. He'll feed it off a body. Chris Higgins tries to win a battle. Eric Stahl, another takeaway. Carolina gets it out. What we're seeing sometimes winning the battle is not necessarily being physical. It's not losing the inside positioning coming to the net. Right. And a couple of times here in this period, Vancouver's gained that positioning. It was a key part of the go-ahead goal after the Hurricanes climbed the mountain. So that's where you have to have control even in the battle. That's why it's a game key. Cam Hughes, hard press, stall, tough angle off the side of the goal. He centers off Eddie Lack. And now play comes to a halt. We'll tell you about it when we come back. A little disturbance as the Hurricanes circle the net. 13-23 left to go in the second period. 3-2 Vancouver. An injury to Radic Dvorak. Not enough to take him out of the game, but to give Vancouver a double minor. This is... I, I honestly believe the Hurricanes are going to have to score. Let's watch this area right here. Boy, the referee's arm didn't go up, huh? Maybe it's a back official that makes the call. But this is where, hey, Vancouver got a five-on-three goal in the first period. Carolina now gets uh, four minutes at it. Power play needs to convert. Second power play of the day for Carolina. It goes off the stick of Brad Richardson. It comes all the way back. Ryan Murphy in control. Four minutes in duration. Five on four. Just about seven minutes gone in the second period. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always. We're back on Fox Sports Carolina's Tuesday night from D.C. Canes start a two-game road swing in Washington. We'll play in Nashville on Thursday night. Murphy on the center zone. Shakes free. Over the line, Eric will deliver a pass down deep. Dan Hamhuis is there reversing for Chris Tanev. It hit his own teammate on the way out, Burroughs, and he's injured, and play is halted. That's the right call. It looks like Burroughs is in a ton of pain, and if a player is clearly in a bad way, I mean, come on now. You have to blow the whistle. Let's hope he's okay. It was actually a heck of a reverse from the Vancouver defense. Ham Hughes made the key play, and the clearing attempt hit Burroughs up high. And the referees waited initially in what was going to become an excellent opportunity for Carolina because a five-on-four became a four-on-three. But then they saw that there was a chance that Burroughs was badly hurt just as he got to the yeah. Carolina blue line, or the Vancouver blue line this period. It was the right call to blow the whistle without question. There's a trail of blood in the zone, and no one is tending to it in the Carolina zone. That's why we're going to get a stoppage here. Finally, that's Ryan Galloway. I'm sorry, Andy McGelman getting to it here. We're going to take care of it for now. There's still some remnants of it out. That could be dangerous for the players. I, I'm surprised, yeah, because I can still see it from way up yeah, here. That's not good. Now off the draw, comes all the way back. Cleared all the way back in the Carolina zone. 
Alex Burrows to the room. They lost Yannick Hansen in period one. He has returned and will see and await the return possibly of Alex Burrows. Carolina maintaining the power play. Jordan to the outside. He has a goal today. It comes back now for Jay Harrison. Out of the corner, Jordan Stahl grinding here for the Hurricanes. Picked off cleanly by Kessler, who gets it from Chris Higgins. Here they come shorthanded. Brian Kessler with a shot. Fought off by Cam Ward, and he's stung by that. And his snap is broken, but Cam figures he's on the power play, so he was shorthanded. He'd tell the referee or he dislodged that mask, but he doesn't want to whistle right now. Eddie Lack off the boards. Overskated by Nathan Gerby. Uneventful power play so far for Carolina. Still plenty of time, though. 2.25 left in it. Ward now will play it along. Jay Harrison will start from his own zone. Through neutral ice, it's Ryan Murphy. Good pass. Tuomo Rutu had a man wide open. That was Eric Stahl, but he was defended well. Now it goes deep. Cam Hughes along the boards. Chris Tanneth, Mike Santarelli, and out they go. Santarelli from the center zone. No friends to pass to. He's shorthanded. He'll kill more time. 11.20 left in the second period. Carolina now pushing forward on the power play. Eric Stahl turns it back. Slammed in the zone by Justin Falk. Hard around it goes. Jason Garrison looking for Kevin Bieksa. At the point, over the stick of Falk. More time killed. Well, in Carolina's defense, this is a top-tier penalty kill, but, I mean, this is just generating nothing. How about Tannen? A couple of key plays. Good you can plays. see the pressure. You can see the confidence in the Canucks end that they make a play, even if it's to the middle of the ice. Now Jordan Stahl moving up. He's defended by Garrison. Murphy at the point. Harrison goes wide. Here it comes. Wide of Lack. Loose this way for Nathan Gerby. Gerby holding on to it. He'll dangle. Diagonally across for Harrison. A wrister looking for a tip. None available. And cleared out of the zone by Jason Garrison. And especially with the backup goaltender that gave up two goals early in the period. You want to establish a shot and have it be a shooting power play. The problem has obviously been, though, that Carolina has had, other than that last sequence, trouble setting up. Under a minute left in it. Thomas Sarek and Harrison at the points. Now it's Skinner holding, shooting one, easily denied by Eddie Lack. Now it's played by Thomas Sarek along the wall, overskated by Nathan Gerby, and out they come. Tanneth's pass right on the tape of Santarelli. They're changing, he'll cut. Mike Santarelli to the outside, wide of Ward, shorthanded. Dan Ham Hughes going deep. Now Brad Richardson and Mike Thomas Sarek get involved. Richardson dropped his stick, his gloves. Thomas Sarek did not. Oh, so Thomas Herrick, who takes the delay of game penalty back in the first period that led to a five-on-three goal, he may have just drawn a five-on-three because Richardson drops his gloves. I might call the timeout right here. I mean, this is the game. This is the game. 20 seconds of a five-on-three. Watch the right side of your screen. And this is a veteran play from Commissaire, keeping his gloves on. You can see his intent was that the entire time. I'd call the timeout just to settle everybody down, worry about winning the faceoff. The, the Canucks have won special teams faceoffs in this affair that's just over halfway through. No, they're not going to call the turn. Can't see if there's a timeout called or not, but this is all about the draw here, John. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Brad Richardson. Kirk Muller's team now, five on three, 27 seconds as we see. The Hurricanes have scored twice in terms of five on threes this season. Skinner holding, laying it back. Falk in control. He'll walk it. Inside it goes Lindholm, a give back. Falk this way, Eric. Inside Skinner. Rotating for Falk. Wide the rebound. Skinner. Off the boards, peppered by Tanev. He stays with it. Jeff Skinner going down. Along the boards now, pinched by Justin Falk. Good job by Dan Hamhuis. All the way down to Cam Ward. Well, won the faceoff cleanly. Led to a grade A one-timer. Skinner just missed the net. And I'm not sure if the Vancouver player was in the lane that led to missing that target. Elias Lindholm takes a bump from Dan Hamhuis. It's played by Kevin Bieksa. And they will continue to salt away time. Buck 17 left to go in this power play. 9.05 left in the second period. Vancouver with a one-goal lead. The go-ahead goal, Ryan Kessler. Out to center ice. Over the line and in. Cuomo route to Jay Harrison. Can't handle it. Carolina has the tag back up. Flung in the zone this time by Justin Falk. Around the boards. Brought along by Rutu. His shot! 
Lansing off Eddie Lack. Played by Falk. Now root two up top. Justin Falk at the point. Harrison converts to forehand. Rolls it in for Drayson Bowman. Bowman to the outside of Bieksa. Back it goes for Falk. One-timer Harrison blocked by Chris Higgins. Turning is Bowman. Drayson Bowman. Now Harrison. Arister stopped by Lack. The rebound. Handled another chance. Is off a body out in front. And going down hard was Drayson Bowman. Another chance swallowed by Eddie Lack. Shot taken by Justin Falk. With 25 seconds left in the power play, and you saw the injured, Drayson Bowman going to the Carolina bench. Good to see Bowman getting a chance because that's what has to happen at some point on the power play is you have to give guys a chance when it's not working. Here's Bowman, middle of your screen. Oh, he gets clipped. No, he, he, he get cl got clipped uh, initially, but then it was the puck that got him. And, and, and Rutu just found a way to get to the net. He, it was a moving screen that he tried to stay in front of Lack. A little bit of contact from Bowman and Eddie yeah. Lack. And, and I should mention, too, Alex Semin stopped by our booth between periods. No Semin, no Sacker, especially on the five-on-three. Do you ever miss Alex Semin? Buck goes deep in the zone. 8.05 left to go in the second period. Hopefully, uh, he, you know, he was on the ice seven once, but then wasn't yesterday. And we know the protocol coming back from concussions. But it didn't see him skate today. I was here pretty early. Don't know if he did. If he did, it was 6 a.m. Now it's Murphy from the outside. It deflects high. And it goes on to play. 7.46 left to go in the second period. The Canucks three, the Hurricanes two. Right here on Fox Sports Carolina. Here in the second, Vancouver has the 3-2 lead. Well, no one will forget that Alex Edler hit on Eric Stahl at the World Championship this summer. But the captain wanted today to be about Manny Malhotra playing against his former team. That's today's Geico quote. Eric says, I'm excited for Manny and the opportunity he has to show how good he's been for us. This should be fun, guys. Well, the best thing that Eric can do, and that's why he's our number one storm tracking game key, is to have a dominating performance and show Adler in, in Vancouver that he's back to 100%. He, he looked every bit of that on, on the goal that he set up from Gerby to tie it at two. Here's a chance for Bowman. A great save by Eddie Lack. Right off the faceoff, Bowman again for Dwyer. Shut down as they heck at it in the crease, and Eddie Lack has control. Drayson Bowman. Getting a chance on this line with Jordan Stahl and Pat Dwyer. Let's just watch him. Hey, don't get mesmerized with face-offs with, uh, with just the, the face-off men. You know, that was Sedin. His job, by the way, those watching, is he thought that Carolina had won the draw. He's got to get out to the strong side point man. So that's what created the chance for Drayson. He has two goals, as I said earlier in the game, against Vancouver in his career. I just like what Drayson's uh, brought this year. I mean, he has made it to the NHL, truly. Now if he can get a chance with more ice time, maybe an elevated roll, maybe that finish will come through at this level. That's how he got drafted. Great score. In the Western Hockey League, now it's dug out by Brad Richardson, gloved down by Ron Hainsey, and again they go deep. And he will remind me any time a prospect uh, is taking time to develop. I'm going to remember Drayson Bowman. I'm going to say you have to be patient. Damn Ward. Hang it off for Ron Hainsey, pressured by Brad Richardson, along with Mike Santorelli, as you see it up close. Out of that scrum, it kicks out. Carolina attempts to get it out. Here's Brett Belmore. Belmore over the line. Mal Holtra with a shot swallowed by Eddie Lack. No stoppage. And no further play here right out in front. As Lack was able to hang on. Let's take a look at the World Championships last spring and the hit by Alex Edler on Eric Stahl. Well, I mean, the look says it all. Uh, I remember watching it. He's able to talk to Eric shortly thereafter as he quickly got on a plane with his wife, Tanya, and came back to Raleigh within 24 hours. That's when they got the news that it was just a severe sprain and no tear and just the MCL. And it was a bad hit from Edler. Um, and he will, if he makes the Swedish Olympic team with a very deep blue line, he'll be suspended for the first two games of the upcoming Sochi Olympics. We're on the boards now. Good look at Ham Hughes going down. It kicks back. And Ham Hughes in control. It goes off Drayson Bowman. Patrick Dwyer attempts to get after it. Nobody sees it. Now they do as Vancouver touches up. Play continues. Dwyer, Jordan, this way, Falk. Here it comes. Stopped by Eddie Lack. 
So the Vancouver player, by a, touching that puck in what would have been a whistle, he kept it going, led to a great chance. Boy, Jordan Stahl's been good. Watch Jordan. Boy, he's worried about the defensive side of the puck. And when he does that, everything else takes care of itself. Falk has, in the last week, had maybe one of his best offensive weeks, if not best offensive week as a pro. But Lack, again, you look this year, he's given up the majority of his goals low. This line is Eric Stahl, Jeff Skinner, Tuomo Rutu. Off the faceoff. We go to the wall. Back to the point, Falk. Negated by Kessler. Added out of midair by Justin Falk. Carolina would be offside. They tag up. Play continues. And that's where if a guy blocks a shot coming out on Falk, Eddie Lack, the goalie, knows if it's going to get through, it's going to be high. So that's another value of being willing to block shots, which teams that play under George, John Tortorella typically do a thing called block shots. Just under six minutes left in the second period. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always here on Fox Sports Carolina. First of two meetings this season. Carolina in Vancouver on December the 9th. That comes all the way back. Jason Garrison has it deep in his own zone. Henrik Sedin. Alex Burroughs swinging it back now. He returns from injury. Edler gets it ahead looking for Henrik. To the corner they go. It's dug out by Alex Burroughs. A good look there. Loose puck for Daniel. His shot off the glove of Cam Ward. Henrik hunts it down. He's tied up by Belmore. Carolina circling back in the center zone. Kevin Bieksa will dump it in. Carolina getting reorganized. The shots are 18 Carolina, 17 Vancouver. Carolina trailing 2-0 after one. Two quick goals in 49 seconds as we started the second period by the Hurricanes. Tied it. When seconds later, Vancouver recaptured a one-goal lead on the tally from Ryan Kessler. It comes back. Bieksa moves it. Vancouver from their own zone, sealed off a bit here. They start again. Inside the line and out, Mike Santorelli. At his side, Dale Weiss now will dump it in. Getting to it is David Booth. Booth turns, holds on to it. Alex Edler at the point. His shot put off by Ward. Loose to the wall. Santorelli. Ryan Murphy for Carolina. Will take a hit from Dale Weiss and feed it all the way back. A foot race ensues. Edler ahead of Gerby. Overskated by Jordan Stahl. Gerby got to it. Jordan from the corner. Taken down. Dale Weiss on the boards for Vancouver. And back out to neutral ice. Ryan Murphy in his own zone. Indirect pass detected by Mike Santorelli. Battle won by Carolina's Pat Dwyer. His shot stopped by Lack. Side of the goal. He'll freeze. 4.04 left to go in the second period. Vancouver 3. Carolina 2. The Canes will hit the road tomorrow, and then Tuesday night will be in Washington, D.C., the first of two on the road. Canes and Capitals starting with Hurricanes live at 6.30 on Fox Sports Carolinas, and Alex Ovechkin scored again last night, Trip. Boy, oh boy, not only leading the league in goal scoring, but uh, you're not going to get a more timely tally than in overtime, and Backstrom scored late, shorthanded in regulation to tie the game. Skinner getting a ship with Eric Stahl and Tomo Rutu, so we're seeing some wrinkles up front. Now Chris Tanneth along the boards by Kessler all the way back. Justin Falk in his own zone under four minutes left. Gaines at Washington Tuesday, at Nashville Thursday, here against San Jose. For all practical purposes, a road game at home. That'll be Friday night. And then the Canes will leave on Saturday and play a week from tomorrow in Vancouver. And that, you look at that schedule, you wonder why this is such a big game. Drayson Bowman, who's had a real nice second period, talk about him playing more, played his last shift with Dwyer and Jordan Stahl. As I mentioned, Skinner still on the ice with Eric and Rutu. So we're seeing some wrinkles here to try to generate the offense to tie this game late before you go to the dressing room for the third. Eric along with Skinner and Rutu. Falk and Harrison are back. Again, Andre Sekera to a second straight game. Not in the lineup. Upper body injury. Falk with a shot. Fought off by Eddie Lack. Anik Hansen pinned by Tuomo Rutu. Here's Eric for Skinner. Good back check. Ryan Kessler coming back hard on Jeff Skinner. What a job by Eric and Rutu to, to win the battle there. And Skinner just couldn't get that to the net quickly. When Jeff is really going, he has such talent that he finds a way to fire that puck. Daniel, options away for Burroughs. Here it comes, denied by Ward. 
He lost control. Burroughs off the side of the goal. A wrap chance. They fend it off. Carolina tries to get out of dodge here. Burroughs broken up by Eric Stahl. And he'll clear it on a deflection off the glass and out of play. Play comes to a halt and a good thing for the Hurricanes. Good thing. I think Daniel Sedin, 22 and white, obviously, may have prevented a goal from going in for Vancouver after the initial shot. Now, Cam looked like he was going to have this covered. Burroughs is back from injury. Watch 22 come in right here. No, it hit the outside of the net. So I thought at first, I, I thought that Sedin may have prevented a puck from going in the net. Impossible angle. The only way Burroughs scores, who he hasn't scored this year, would be to bank a puck in when it's on that side of the goal line. You know, when they were going well here at home and at home stand and boxing out so well in front of the goaltenders, they got to amp that up again. It's, it's the key part of the goal that right now is the difference. Here's a shot. Ward said no. Good opportunity that time flashing through by Henrik Sedin. Back out to center ice. Carolina will get it deep. Edler goes hard at Mel Holtra. Vancouver now. Their top line is out for John Tortorella. Daniel Sedin, now Henrik. Henrik holding on to it. Burroughs. It goes behind him. On the back check that time, Radek Dvorak. Here come the Hurricanes again. Cross corner dump in by Manny Mel Holtra. Jason Garrison spins it by Edler. And again through center and back. Uh, I mean, it was thoroughly enjoyable. The 4 0 and 1 homestand against quality opponents like Colorado, like Minnesota, like Anaheim. The Hurricanes never gave up second chances, and nobody got good chances in the garden spot where Kessler regathered the lead early in this period. And nobody crashed the goaltender. Out of the corner now. They jam. Jordan Stahl. Now Dwyer. From the board, Santorelli. It goes deep. Kevin Bieksa in back of his goaltender. Moves it. Murphy at the point. Out of the reach of Dwyer. Top of your screen, Ryan Stanton. A little backhand dish cut off by Kamasarek. Club down by Pat Dwyer. He'll keep it in Vancouver ice. Kevin Bieksa looks around. A quick up through neutral territory. Goes by David Booth. Comes all the way back. Here's Jay Harrison. Around the boards. Cut off by Santorelli. Dale Weiss in the corner. Santorelli now in the give and go. Sealed off that time by Tuomo Rutu. Moving up is Dan Hamhuse out in front. To, detected here by Ryan Murphy. And away they go. Murphy goes wide. His shot, well wide of any lack. He had a forward back. It was Dale Weiss. And now Tuomo Rutu has it for Carolina. Yeah, but Murphy, the offensive dimension that will literally bring you out of your seat that you can't teach. It's been sort of gone the last couple of games. We've seen it on the last couple of shifts, which hopefully is a sign of good things. Now they move it all the way back. Dan Ham in control. Shadowed by Manny Malhotra. His best friend when he played for Vancouver. Those two guys right there. Yeah, right. Yep. Long pass. Kessler camped out. He's in. Off of Harrison. Carolina circles back. They attempt a transition. It's choked off and neutralized by the Canucks. 31.5 seconds left in the second period. Well, one thing you can do with the long change in the second period is go for the old stretch pass. I saw Vancouver score a goal the other night by using it goal that was scored by Daniel Sedin. I think it was this 300. Where you nullify an icing, just a nice little redirect, and then you get in with speed. Kessler, who's been the Canucks' best player, trying to execute it there. Scored that 300th goal at Ottawa Thanksgiving night. Only two other players in Vancouver history have surpassed that total. Marcus Naslin, the great Trevor Linden. Now Edler in control. Broken up by Jordan Stahl. Here's a chance. Possibly he's taken down. No call. And the Canucks get it out. 18 seconds left in the second period. Jordan has had a heck of an afternoon. He's got to keep going. But he, both sides of the puck. You know, once again, he takes care of his own end. And he's had all sorts of chances. Vancouver now attempting to hunt it down. Five seconds left in the period. Jordan. Inside it goes. Garrison is tied up by Dwyer. The horn goes here at PNC Arena. Drayson Bowman will be Chantel McCabe's guest when she kicks off the PNC Bank second intermission on the go-ahead goal by Ryan Kessler. The Vancouver Canucks have a 3-2 lead over the Carolina Hurricanes. It's been a very interesting afternoon with all kinds of fireworks between these two cross-conference rivals. Back with a second intermission right after this. 
Carolina Hurricanes Hockey is brought to you by Kangaroo Express, your home of the $1.50 dog and drink. By Moe's Southwest Grill. Welcome to Moe's. By the North Carolina Education Lottery. Play Powerball with Power Play. Jackpots start at $40 million. By Raleigh Orthopedic. Or where the pros go. Raleigh Orthopedic. And by Golden Corral. Help yourself to happiness. From inside the cane room, cane room back inside PNC Arena. And the Hurricanes have been very good in the second. The third period has been a challenge. And they have to make good here, Trip today. I mean, we're going to keep saying this for the rest of the year, but this is as big of a period as they've had all season with what the schedule is afterwards to get at least points out of it. And it's a tough thing to do, as we all know, to come from behind in this league. John Forslund, Trip Tracy, Chantel McCabe, Kirk Muller's team will hit the road. They'll be in Washington Tuesday night. Nashville on Thursday. Jordan Stahl has scored here this afternoon along with Nathan Gerby. But two goals by Vancouver in period number one. Goals coming by Ryan Kessler and Tom Sestito. And then Kessler again scoring early in the second period, breaking the two-all tie. Along the boards now. Patrick Dwyer. Inside it goes. Jordan Stahl on Alex Edler holding on to it. Up top, Brett Belmore. Inside for Jordan by him. Back of the goal. Edler now will move it. Burroughs and Hainsey. Carolina gets to it. Grayson Bowman dragging one caught by Eddie Lack and no further play. Let's take a look at this afternoon's Storm Tracker. Well, big afternoon for the captain. It's been a mixed bag. He made an outstanding play on the, the tying goal in beating Kessler, but then he lost the battle to Kessler on what right now is the difference. Vancouver's had the edge on the power play, of course, with that five-on-three goal. Carolina not converting on a five-on-three. And control and battle, which was a key part of what is right now the difference goal as well. Up goes high in the air, Nathan Gerby for the Hurricanes away from Chris Higgins. Tuomo Rutu, Dan Hamhuis is defending for Vancouver. Ryan Kessler along now for Chris Higgins, and again, they'll get it deep. They've added an assist to Patrick Dwyer on Jordan Stahl's goal in the second period, along with Ron Hainsey, who was originally given credit to. Now, Rutu out of the corner. To go to work down low. It's free at the top of your screen. Rutu. Taken down by Kessler. Justin Falk off a couple of bodies. Gained by Carolina's Tuomo Rutu. He gave it away, and then he pays a price, and play comes to a halt. Penalty coming up here, John, as Watson went up with his arm. This might... Well, you just saw the storm trackers. Vancouver's best players headed to the box. You, get, you had a double minor if you're Carolina's power play in the second period as well as a five on three. And now you get on fresh ice a power play early in the third. I mean, it, it's right there for you. Watch 17. There's a slash. And the back official, you're going to see uh, just at the tail end, Watson going up with his hand. Off the faceoff, Eddie Lack makes the save off Jordan Stahl. And Vancouver gets it out. Carolina, so far, 0 for 4 with their power play. They have five shots. And that was actually not the slash to Kessler. It was that follow-up uh, boarding motion. Now the puck is dumped in. Jordan Stahl let it go for Nathan Gerby. Harrison at the point. His shot blocked by Dan Hanhuse. Now Brad Richardson along the boards. Dug out by Bowman. Jordan in control. Turning with it, Drayson Bowman. He'll deal away along the wall for Gerby. Nathan Gerby to the point. Commissarek, his shot goes wide. This way it's Alex Burrows, and he'll bounce it all the way down past Cam Ward. And if you don't have a player in the shooting lane, I'd like to see Carolina's initial shot be low because Lack with that big frame, I think he's only been beaten once above his shoulders this year. Eric Stahl now to the outside of Kevin Bieksa. Alex Edler calmly along the boards. Murphy will play it in the center zone for Justin Falk. See the time left on power play number five this afternoon for Carolina. Ryan Murphy, Tuomo Rutu. Over the line, a give off here for Eric. Eric down the boards, greeted by Edler, taken down. And the Canucks get it out. Well, all of the symptoms you usually see of a good penalty kill is pressure. And, uh, boy, how many times has Carolina, like they are right now, had to go back and retreat pucks on the power play? Eric Stahl dumps it in. Ham Hughes this way. The X is on it. So is Eric Stahl for the Hurricanes. Tuomo Rutu, top of your screen. It's Ryan Murphy. 
Justin Falk holding his shot. Wide. Off the carom. Jeff Skinner dancing out in front. Black shuts it down. Loose him back of the goal. See the time left in the power play. It's dug out by Chris Tanev. And he'll clear it all the way down to Cam Ward. Good chance for Falk with a quick release. And, and, and Skinner, when he's really going, I think he, he challenges the front of the net just a bit more to increase that shooting angle. Eddie Lack handles that chance from outside, taken by Ryan Murphy. Carolina, 0 for 5 on the power play. I mean, what I'm saying is Skinner has just a little bit less abandoned. Coming up right here. Watch him come in here. Good move. He's got Ham Hughes beat. But he just takes an extra step. And maybe then he can challenge the blocker side. Just a little bit quick with that release coming from the goal line. And Mel Holtra and Brad Richardson on the faceoff. Richardson stung a bit by a stick. Now Dvorak will come in for Carolina as Jeff Skinner looks on. Brad Richardson stick down first as the visitor. He wins it back. Ryan Stanton taken care of by Manny Malholtra. Richardson on the wall. Ryan Kessler tries to clear. Stanton now deep in his own zone. Elevating the puck. Brett Belmore has it for the Hurricanes. He'll go cross corner. Back first is Kevin Bieksa. Ryan Stanton now David Booth. Hit on the play by Belmore. Pops out. Bieksa long pass. Out of the reach of Yannick Hansen, it comes all the way down to Cam Ward. Ron Hainsey off the official. It kicks out. Belmore for the Hurricanes. Roddick Dvorak. And away they go. The veteran now will move it by Ryan Stanton. Bieksa comes across on him. The Janet back of the goal. Dvorak holding onto it. Off a stick and back out. Boy, that is a perfect dump in from Radek Dvorak, where it truly is just a temporary loss of possession. I think it's Talusi that comes in. Fellow check is the second man. And nearly led to a grade-A chance, all because of good puck placement. Santarelli, a steal. His shot blocked in front. It went off Justin Falk, and it's cleared out of play on a deflection. Faceoff will come in neutral ice. Oh, puck placement, so important. Let's watch here, and Dvorak does it just perfectly. Watch the left side of your screen. Takes a, a look up. Now he's got the Vancouver player. I think that's Richardson, flat-footed. Good reaction from Toulouse. All of a sudden, two-on-one on, on the puck, and you nearly have a slot presence. Santarelli will take the draw, posed by Eric Stahl. Stanton, not Richardson, that was caught flat-footed. 18 in the Vancouver sweater. My apologies. Chris Higgins now in Tuomo Rutu. Face off one back. Thomas Serrett. Be the D for Ryan Murphy. Vancouver now will peel back. Hinge ahead. Dale Weiss. Off the boards. Ryan Murphy scoots across. He'll wind it along the boards. Cut off by Higgins. Higgins turns his shot. Patted down by Ward. Left there for Thomas Eric. Santarelli broke it up. Weiss. Mike Santarelli along the boards now dangling. Play read by Carolina's Ryan Murphy. And out they go. Eric Stahl whips it along the boards. Out to center. Out of that battle. Tanev now ahead for Dale Weiss. Thomas Eric at the line. Santarelli wins a battle, has the puck, his shot. Ward got a piece high in the air. Higgins, Higgins in control. Ward says no, and he hangs on. He just found a way. I mean, Santarelli makes the key move there. And we've seen it in games this year. I remember a game like Detroit where the Hurricanes, they're now just one goal and with a ton of time left. They have to make sure they continue to take care of their own end first. Cam comes over. And where does he make that save? I mean, he's not squared in the pot. You're going to get a real good look here. Nice look for the truck. You can see he's sliding out of the net. I mean, that was just fight to somehow in an awkward spot keep that thing between you and the net. Back it goes again now. Inside and deep. Henrik Sedin broken up. Carried out to center by Patrick Dwyer. He'll chip it through the D. Jason Garrison has played well today. Along the boards cut off by Carolina's Dwyer. A hand pass is called here. So we get a stoppage. Falks had the best offensive week of his career. And it's been reflected in his point streak. He's added to it again today. Oh, gosh. How about this? Top money raisers. Totals raised here for November. that was coming. Oh, you're right there. 425. John Chase, director of fan <laughs> development. 501. He has a lot of friends. Justin Falk at the head of the pack. 
But the bottom line, most importantly, the numbers raised in the Hurricanes were among the best in the National Hockey League in terms of that. And, and speaking of Paul, because we talked about Friday night, he lost his father when he was seven years old, and growing the mustache, his family told him, made him look like his father, Dale. They walk in for a chance, a great stick. As the Canucks got back, Sestito to the point. Ron Hainsey holding onto it, his shot caught by Eddie Lack. It's a four-game streak for Justin Falk, and here it is. And he continues it without the mustache today, so it shows that uh, those follicles were not the key to the success. But a fellow young defenseman with a bright future, Ryan Murphy, has started to jump back in at the right times. He was a big part of the flurry that we just saw in trying to tie the game. Hopefully Murphy can continue that, and hopefully Falk can continue his offensive flair. Eric Stahl, Nathan Gerby, Tuomo Rutu back together. Skinner had been in this line a bit in the second period. Falk with a shot. Good save by Lack. Out of the corner now, Chris Tannen. Along the boards, Harrison had it lost it. Bottled up that time by Ryan Kessler. Here's Chris Higgins. Pass detected by Justin Falk. Carried in the zone by Ryan Kessler. Kessler holding onto it. He goes deep. Tuomo Rutu helping out the D reverses. Now it's Nathan Gerby deep in his own zone. Hard pressed, a turnover, Ward said no, on Ryan Kessler. Has the puck to flex in the Carolina bench. 13-31 left to go in this third period, and the Canucks are hanging on to a one-goal lead in Raleigh. Back in the third, Vancouver leads 3-2. It's the 1st of December, which means November is over. We gave you a preview of the fundraising efforts. Let's take another look. Justin Falk leading the way, $510. Trip Tracy, $425. And Justin Peters, $360. The organization raised over $23,000. Oh, nice look there. You look great there. Staring contest now, Chantel. <laughs> right now. You're there's on. No, there, You're on. The D in Dodge is a softy Yodge for those that have seen the little Barrel commercials. <laughs> okay, well, the organization raised over $23,000 in part from a $10,000 donation from Blue Cross Blue Shield in North Carolina. Yesterday at Sports Clips, the guys finally got to trim. I know Trip was real happy about that. We'll show you that on an upcoming edition of Hurricanes Live. Boy, I'm just dwelling on all of that. I'm dwelling on the fact that it was a tough 400 bucks turn because I'm going to tell you, I had a lot of late nights where I was very frustrated with that growth. A lot of pain, but we thank everyone who contributed league-wide to a wonderful cause. Now through center ice, Tuomo Rutu moving up to the outside, goes off the stick of Ryan Stanton, and it goes out of play. Well, I, I actually called Justin Peters yesterday because he was at the function where everybody uh, got their mustaches shaved. And I said, Justin, to be honest with you, the highlight of my month with the stash was what you did with your mental toughness in going 4 one one at home. That was the highlight. Uh, Kevin's the guy that got me to do it in the first place. But my highlight was seeing what Justin did when he was needed most. A soft one back by Ryan Kessler. He pushes Eric Stahl down right off the faceoff, and it comes all the way back in the Kane zone. This is icing. Jay Harrison to the dot. The Hurricanes have started to push here, which is really good to see. Uh, they're activating their defense, but I look at a game that, uh, you know, like Detroit, where both teams had a five-on-three a couple weeks ago. Detroit scored, Carolina did. Then the Hurricanes started to take chances and got both defensemen caught, and Nyquist scored what was a back-breaking goal. You cannot start to gamble yet. Off this tie-up, Vancouver again in possession. They look to golf it out, and they do. Now it's furthered by Eric Stahl. Yannick Hansen gets to it. Eric Stahl for the Hurricanes will steer it right back in the Vancouver zone. Eddie Lack along the boards, a turnover. Eric now, muscled by Ryan Kessler. They go to the corner. Romo Rutu for the Canes. He'll circle. And now he'll stay with it as he gets it back from Harrison. A loose puck. In control and back out, Dan Hamhuse. Vancouver now will settle it down low. Smart move there. You can see from up here, Falk thought about gambling, which would have been wrong. And so he actually hung back. And that was the right play. Buck is brought in the zone by Vancouver's David Booth. Top of your screen, Radek Dvorak, and now Yuri Talusti. From the center zone, attempts to get it deep on the defense. 
And again, no quarter given by Vancouver. They do a good job. They get it all the way back in the Carolina zone. Radek Dvorak takes a hit from Dale Weiss. Manny Malholtra in a stick battle. He's pickpocketed. Now Bieksa over the line as Santorelli made a good play on Malholtra. And Cam Ward had no problem with that shot taken by Kevin Bieksa. Coors Light cold hard facts. We'll take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Hurricanes. And they will hit the road and hit it hard. And that's why these points are so valuable right now when you look at that road. And I guess the one piece of good news is that the Hurricanes really haven't been that much different on the whole of a road team than they have been a home team this year. Quick shot off the draw taken by Alex Burroughs goes wide and now it's back out to center ice. Jason Garrison picked off by the Hurricanes' Brett Belmore. Long dump in off of Lack. Possibly trouble brewing so he freezes. He'll get a face off in his own zone. So I mentioned there's a guy out of Detroit by the name of Scott Decker, friend of ours, that does Scotty these goaltending breakdowns. And I'll yeah. tell you what, it's very, very valuable data. And it shows it's got 12 different spots in the net where a goalie's been beaten. And of the goals that Black has given up, 15 now on the year, all but one have come in the lower portion of the net. Very, very impressive data that uh, Scott Decker is putting together out of Detroit. We'll do something with that soon. Possibly in Hurricanes Live and show the graphic and show the detail work that he does. In the tough angle, you saw Eddie Lack handle that chance. It comes all the way back again in the Carolina zone. Ron Hainsey deep in his own territory. On the wall, Nathan Gerby by Burroughs. Back out, Tanev at the line. Henrik to the outside of Belmore. He'll get it deep. Alex Burroughs in control from the corner. Burroughs now grinding along the boards. He's peppered by Ron Hainsey. 10.33 left in this third period. Chris Higgins holding. Angle cut off by Cam Ward now. Dan Hamhuse. He'll wrist it off the end wall looking for a redirect. Chris Tanev moving in. Holding onto it to the outside. Now they grind again. Keeping control of it. Ryan Kessler right through the slot. And now Nathan Gerby tries to get it out. Met along by Alex Burroughs. Gained here by Carolina's Eric Stahl. Lost his footing, but did steer the puck out to center ice. Well, Lindholm gets a shot on a line there with Eric Stahl and Kirby, and usually that would be route two. Now it comes back for Justin Falk. Carolina starting from their own zone and back out. Patrick Dwyer sealed off at the defense, but a penalty will follow. Vancouver will be penalized in this situation. Ryan Stanton defensively on Pat Dwyer. Carolina man up when we come back. To the chalkboard now. The Hurricanes have an opportunity again in the power play. Ryan Stanton is gone now for interference. And John McClain, who typically handles the penalty kill, he's even getting involved. And, you know, at this point, you just have to find a way to... Uh, to finally click on this power play. Stanton, who's been caught flat-footed a couple of times with those little indirects off the boards. Remember Radek Dvorak? They're guilty of interference. And, oh, that's a close call. Power play that's 0 for 5. Seven shots. Oh! Eric Stahl. As you take a look at Vancouver, what they've done with the kill. They've been extraordinary all season. Out to center ice. Justin Falk and Ryan Murphy on the points. Tuomo Rutu. Eric Stahl, Jeff Skinner up front. Falk through the middle now for Rutu over the line to the outside. Murphy defended by Hamuse. He gets it back. One-timer Falk off of Eddie Lack. He got a piece of it. Down to the point now where it's manned by Justin Falk all the way across. Cushioned by Skinner. Broken up. Not out by Richardson. It's still fought for. Burroughs and Skinner. Skinner wins the battle and sets up Murphy now. Justin Falk, his shot. And no, and off the post. And it's covered up by Eddie Lack. The crowd thought they had it. The referee was in good position. And it did not go in off the goal post and smothered by the Vancouver goaltender. Heck of a job by Skinner in the area of the half wall winning a battle that leads to false shot. Good redirect from Eric Stahl. And not only did that puck not go in, but what a play by Burroughs. Remember, Burroughs was hurt back on a Carolina power play in the second period. Oh, tough break. A cliche, but a game of inches. Still early in the power play. They got to hang in there. Here's Falk. Now Murphy. Here it comes. Denied by Lack. And dumped out 
by Ryan Kessler. Speaking of Ryan's, I continue to say it. Murphy looks like his confidence is back. Skinner dangling, blocked at the defense by Edler. Moved out of the zone again by Ryan Kessler. Carolina now will circle back. 8.43 left in regulation time. 3-2 Vancouver. Alex Edler winds it all the way back in Carolina ice. Cam Ward moves it along now. Nathan Gerby taken down. Here's Jordan. Over the line. Red at the defense by Ham Hughes and back out. Thomas Eric, Drayson Bowman now. Good stick along the boards by Daniel Sedin. Henrik takes a hit from Gerby and Carolina will circle back. Especially with the number of power plays the Hurricanes have had, you'd, you'd want to use the Sedins more and more shorthanded just to get their minutes up. Jay Harrison shoves it inside for Jordan. Gerby at his side, he has it. To the point, Jay Harrison, indirect pass. Nathan Gerby, his shot wide of lack. Played this way by Mike Komisarek. His shot off of Jordan gained at the defense by Chris Tanev, and he moves it out. Cam Hughes has been one of the biggest cogs in this Vancouver penalty killing wheel. I mean, he has been very, very good. A player that's fought concussion challenges throughout his career. He's been very strong as a defensive defenseman today. Carolina, 0 for 6. They had one shot with that power play. Of course, they had the opportunity to redirect by Eric Stahl off the goal post. And a great saving play by Alex Burrows. Out in front now, getting to it. It's carried out by Burroughs again. He'll dump it all the way back. Well, again, under John Tortorella, blocking shots is a central ingredient, and you can just see uh, they block some beauties this afternoon. Ron Hainsey from well out, a tough angle, no problem for Eddie Lackey. Centers one off to Lusty. Kevin Bieksa now to the outside for Mike Santarelli. Off the boards and out. It was off the stick of Radek Dvorak. He uses the free hand on Bieksa, and he'll go. Bieksa out of the corner, moving back by the broken stick. Rutu's on him, delayed whistle. When Carolina touches up, play will come to a halt, which they do now. Yeah, Dvorak uh, was trying to turn over a puck, and that led to actually with inadvertently his stick being in a dangerous position. Let's watch here. And you see the use of the free hand. So it's the use of the free hand that leads to the offensive zone penalty. And I hate to say it, but this has been the story on a lot of nights this year that, uh, again, the Hurricanes just cannot get themselves back in a game or get over that mountain because of a little thing called the power play that's become a big thing and it's unfortunately become more of a power kill than a power play. Yeah, and then you have the lingering effects which are tough to deal with and right now when they have any energy at all it just goes right away in terms of what happens on this power play situations that they do get. It, in their defense you're right their best power play chance of the afternoon was that puck off the post on the stall redirection that began yep. with Skinner winning a battle and Falk getting it through. It's the third power play for Vancouver they are one out of two the five on three goal. Edler Henrik. Now they move it back up top. This is Daniel. Daniel Sedin along the boards guarded by the up front killer Patrick Dwyer. Daniel again on the exchange. Henrik holding on to it. Daniel walking it. Off of Ward. Belmore in back of the goal. Tries to clear. Not out. Edler. Chipped along by Kessler. Henrik Sedin along the boards looking for his brother. It was off Daniel. It's loose. And it's played off a stick that time by Jordan Stahl. And it goes out of play. Nightly on Fox Sports Live. Jay Onright and Dan O'Toole. Bring you all you need in terms of scores, news, and highlights. Don't miss Fox Sports Live nightly on Fox Sports 1. To find it, go to foxsports1.com. What a play by Mike Komisarek. Jordan Stahl didn't have a stick. Komisarek came way to the end of the bench to get him a new one. And Jordan ends up clearing the puck that goes off of Vancouver's stick for a much-needed whistle. And because of that deflection, as you see Mike Komisarek, the faceoff comes outside the line. We'll see that one more time. Watch up here. What a play. Kevin Bieksa has control. The lead pass doesn't click with Chris Higgins. Justin Falk for the Hurricanes over the stick of Eric Stahl. Bieksa again moving it back. Chopped along by Harrison. Bieksa one more time. Bowman dogging him. It's brought out here by Mike Santarelli. 
Over the line, Alex Burrows. He'll pull up. Lay it back for Bieksa. Here it comes. Swallowed by Ward. No rebound. 57 seconds left on the manpower advantage. Well, that was more of what we talked about in the homestand earlier in the month of November of blocking out and allowing Cam a clear sight line. Let's watch this here. Okay, Cam takes some real estate himself, and he gets to that real estate before Santorelli can even try to establish positioning. So that was challenging at the right moment. Hey, you there. Ryan Kessler, who has been a great player this afternoon for John Tortorella, wins the faceoff. It comes back. Edler at the point, holding on to it. Along the wall, turning is Henrik Sedin. On the exchange, a give back. Edler again, his shot off a of body. It went off Henrik out in front. Garrison for Kessler. He'll move it this way. Daniel Sedin on the boards. Taken down by Malholtra. Alex Edler all the way across for Garrison. Edler a one-timer. It rockets high. It careens all the way back out in front. Fought for and held in by Alex Edler. Along the boards, cradled that time by Daniel. He's bottled up by Malholtra, and it comes back out. Second effort for Manny against his former team to get that out. That was a gun for Medler. I mean, that, what's Sweden's national airline was SAS. That was SAS. Moving in, Daniel now, peppered by Belmore. It's loose as we see. Ron Hainsey flings it all the way back up top. Garrison a keep. Henrik now for Daniel, a give back, half wall, Henrik Sedin. Now Daniel walking, shooting one, locked out in front, Ron Hainsey, and it's cleared out of the zone, and Dvorak is out of the box. He'll pressure Garrison. Jason Garrison going down, 4.30 left in regulation time as they scrum along the boards. Out of that pileup, Patrick Dwyer for the Hurricanes. Vancouver's one for three with her power plays. We see the scrum up close. Referees continue to ask the fellas to move it. They do, and out of the corner, it's played here by Dan Hamhuse. Broken up, Jordan. Nice to rally out in front. It kicks all the way back, held in beautifully. Justin Folk, he'll keep it ahead. Play read by Jason Garrison. Gloved out of the zone. That's legal as it's gloved out by Daniel Sedin. I like Jordan winning these battles. He's using his size here in this game, and he was ever so close. Puck just rolled on him at the last second. To coming out of the corner with that puck for a chance. Shots 30-28. They favor Carolina, where it counts. Hurricanes down by one. Out of the corner, Kirby. Eric Stahl, top of your screen. Edler is on him. Eric along the boards. Tied up by Edler and back out. Ryan Murphy swings it across for Nathan Gerby. He'll get it deep. One of the few one-on-one -on -one battles. Here's another of Eric Stahl. And Edler, there Eric finishes a hit on him. Now comes all the way back. No icing. Ron Hainsey in control. He'll settle the puck down in the center zone. It's cut off. Played along by Brad Richardson. He'll move it along the boards. Richardson loses that battle to Ryan Murphy, who has control. The rookie. Neutralize. Eric over the line. Drop pass for Skinner. Good back check by David Booth on him. Now Skinner. This way to Lusty. He'll settle it down. Harrison at the point. Wristing one off a of body. As it was blocked up top by the guy who just got it out. Yannick Hansen all the way down to Cam Ward. He'll move it himself. Gary Talusti on a change. Here come the Hurricanes. Over the line, Skinner. They turn it back again. Skinner broke it up. Brad Richardson on the pass from Manny Malholtra. As Harrison steers it, Skinner out in front. Great stick check. As Kevin Bieksa lifted the stick of Yuri Talusti, and they get it out. Here's Ryan Kessler cutting. Hooked along by Jay Harrison and Carolina has another chance. Well, that's the defensive play of the game for Vancouver. There, Bieksa this is going to be icing. As Skinner made a heck of a look. Try out the three-game holiday pack starting at $59. Pick your plan from three of the Canes' five most popular home games. Each pack includes a $25 Carolina Alehouse gift card and more. Operators are standing by now at 866-NHL-CANES. You can also log on to carolinahurricanes.com for more details. Boy, that was close on the hybrid icing. Dwyer with his speed. Who gets the dot first? It's the right call just barely because the Vancouver player with the net in the way you have to make a judgment who can play the puck first which right. you would have thought would have been Dwyer that's right now Henrik Daniel Henrik Sedin sees it go over his stick he'll move it again for Daniel taken down loose to the corner two minutes left in this third period Carolina for now trapped in their zone will keep an eye on Cam Ward in this one goal game Dwyer for Skinner defended by Tanev it goes ahead 
Rubbed down by Alex Burrows. They get it out. Icing will be called here with 1.45 left in this third period. Well, Kirk Muller is a guy that typically holds on to the extra attacker. He's going to hold on to his, uh, he held on to his timeout. He didn't use it before that five on three in the second period. And some coaches tend to pull their goalie earlier. Uh, some wait a little bit longer. I, I, I think even with 145 left, offensive zone faceoff, I'm the type of guy that would utilize the extra attacker, but uh, you can argue it both ways. Well, it gives us a chance to talk about Tuesday night. Verizon Center in Washington, Canes and Capitals, starting with Hurricanes live on Fox Sports Carolinas at 6.30. Big matchup in the Metropolitan Division. Alex Ovechkin has been on fire. Well, and hey, maybe I'll create a little bit of luck for the Hurricanes here. At this point in their game last night, Thomas Vanek had scored a goal. Mike Green had taken a penalty just about now, and Washington was shorthanded. And they found a way shorthanded to have Chimera set up Backstrom before Ovechkin scored. So Carolina has that offensive zone draw. They're going to keep Cam out of the net here. I personally think it's the right move. And, but this is the biggest faceoff of the game. Let's see who takes it. Now, when Manny Malhotra first got here, he would have taken this, then gone right to the bench. But now Jordan Stahl, power backhand side. He should have a good chance to win this one. Word on the bench as we see the Stahl brothers. Route 2, Bowman, Skinner, and Falk for Kirk Muller. Henrik Sedin in the circle for Vancouver. It's loose. And a nice job by Alex Burrows, who got it all the way back. Just about 90 seconds left in regulation time. Hurricanes in danger of going two games below NHL 500. As the play is whistled dead offside, a buck 28 on the clock. They might put Cam back in here. I think Kirk Muller's deciding right now. Neutral. Oh, the faceoff's going to come all the way back. So he'll definitely come back at the net. 29 shots on Cam Ward. In a game which saw Vancouver have a 2-0 lead after one. Caroline in the first minute of the second period tied it with two quick goals in 49 seconds. Just 10 seconds apart between the two goals. Then the tie broken by a guy taking the face off of the Canucks, Ryan Kessler. Off the draw. Forked right out in front. Jordan Stahl has it. Ward halfway out. Hurricanes can't get it deep. Ward goes back. Here's Kessler walking in. His shot. Ward says no. He hangs on. Another faceoff in the Carolina zone. That man, Kessler, has been the best player by a country mile oh, in this yeah. game. Boy, you know, there's been some thought, is he a better winger? Say, I mean, this guy is a center through and through. I mean, his faceoff. By the way, with the Hurricanes had the offensive zone faceoff that led to Cam Ward being back in the net. It's Kessler who tied up that draw with Jordan. He has been just all around complete. He'll be part of the Olympic equation for Team USA and Sochi as it comes out to center ice. Eric Stahl at the line. Ward again, not all the way to the bench. Now he is. 101 on the clock. One minute, Extra one skater minute, out for minute. Carolina. Ron Hainsey in the center zone. Hinging in now is Drayson Bowman. Coming up on Ham Hughes. Harold's circle to the outside. Bowman holding on to it, rolling off his stick. Falk at the point. Blocked in front by Henrik. Laid out of the zone by Daniel. And now getting to it is Ron Hainsey. Hainsey gets it deep. 38 seconds left in regulation time. Jordan Stahl to the corner. Drayson Bowman for Carolina. Now Eric. Eric holding onto it along the wall. Back it goes. It's Falk. Arister off a of body. Went off Tanev. And it's wheeled out of the zone again by Daniel Sedin. 22 seconds on the clock. Here's Tuomo Rutu. Through center ice, Justin Falk over the line. Going wide. His chance. Glancing wide of Eddie Lack. Fanning on it, Eric Stahl. Broken up by Daniel. And settled all the way back in the Kane zone. Seven seconds left. Jordan Stahl, the final push. Through center, a slap pass. It's route two. He's in, but it's offside with a fraction of a second on the clock. Well, unless something absolutely miraculous, I don't even think a puck off the stick of Zinedo Char or Shea Weber could get to the net that quick, especially the puck face-offs coming all the way to the Carolina end. 
The power play is uh, unfortunately cost Carolina somewhere in the neighborhood in my mind of 10 to 12 points this year. Today is another one of those situations where it did. Uh, and the penalty trouble early that allowed Kessler to get that five on three goal and the first goal in this league is so important. The Canucks come to Raleigh. They surround their backup goaltender, Eddie Lack. Final count, Vancouver three and Carolina two. So the Hurricanes now will hit the road for a game in Washington on Tuesday. As they let this one slip away, they go to 10, 12, and 5 overall and 6, 6, and 4 here on home ice. Stay with us. Hurricanes Live will come your way next. We have full post-game coverage from PNC Arena, including locker room sound. We'll hear from head coach Kirk Muller, and Tripp and I will break it all down. Final count, the Vancouver Canucks 3 and the Carolina Hurricanes 2. Stick around for Hurricanes Live, which will be coming your way next on Fox Sports Carolinas as the Canes fall victim to Vancouver here in Raleigh on a Sunday afternoon.